Uh, welcome to the first video in the Python series. So in this video, we're going to be discussing two popular integrated development environments or IDEs for Python. So we're going to be looking at Visual Studio Code or VS Code and the Python IDLE. So in the first section, we're going to be looking at Visual Studio Code first. So let's talk about how Visual Studio, let's talk about Visual Studio Code, uh, which is widely used text editor and IDE. It's used a lot in industry. So one of the biggest advantages of using VS Code um, is it's powerful. So I'll open it up for you. It's powerful code editor. It supports multiple programming languages such as Python. Uh, it also covers HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, it has multiple languages that it can encapsulate. Additionally, it has a wide range, range of extensions and plugins allowing you to customize your workflow to suit your needs. So we're going to be looking at a couple of extensions that we can be working with for Python. Uh, VS Code is also very user friendly. It makes it easier for beginners to use. You'll see what that means in a second. Some of the disadvantages, though, it is one of the one of the biggest drawbacks of using VS Code for Python development is that it's not a native Python IDE. This means you've got to set up the necessary Python environment yourself, including installing and configuring libraries and packages. This can be a little bit daunting at times. So that's the Visual Studio Code. It looks a little bit like this. I'm just going to really quickly open up a new text file. Uh, so I've got a new text file. If I wanted to save that, I think there is a way for me to zoom in at some point. If I go File and Save As, I would be able to choose. I'm going to save it there for now. And I'm going to call it test.py. And that automatically turns it into a Python file because I've done a .testpy. Now, um, the other things that are good with uh, about Visual Studio Code is you can have like open your files here. So I've currently got a HTML file open and inside there I've got access to all of my files which I can open just literally by clicking on them and I can see my work that I've already done in the past. So that's another option. The other thing is the extensions that it comes with. So if I type into here, Python, I've already got the IntelliSense already set up. I've already got Python for VS Code in there. It all comes with a lot of extensions that you can have in there. So we can have a look at some of those as we go through and maybe install some of these and see what they actually do. So that's VS Code. The second Python IDLE that we're going to discuss is the Python IDLE itself. So it's an IDE that already comes pre-installed with the Python programming language. So we'll get that up for you. So I B L E looks a little bit like this when it loads. There we go. So this one's slightly different is in we can't, we have to still create a, a new file. So we go file, new file, and we have to save that file in order for it to become a Python file. So it's the order of it to work. So I'm going to call it test2.py. There we go. So now when I start typing, so if I do hello world for example and I run that by going run python shell oh, sorry run uh, module even it's been a while since I've used the ideally there we go so now it will load up the difference between this one and vs code mainly in terms of how it looks if I go like that and I right click and run python in terminal it will print it out to my terminal here rather than print it out to a separate document like that has done. Now, with that in mind, one of the biggest advantages of using the Python IDLE is its simplicity. It's specifically designed for Python, so it's easy to set up and use. It's got a built-in debugger, so it makes it easy to find and fix errors in your code. Some of the disadvantages, though, is and one of the biggest drawbacks of using this is it the lack of customization options. So unlike VS Code, it doesn't support plugins or extensions. So you're limited to the features that you built that come with it, that come pre-built. So additionally, its code editor is not as advanced as a VS Code, making it less suitable for large scale developments. So in conclusion, when we're looking and comparing these two options, it comes down to preferences first, but when you start to look at which IDE you should choose, 
ultimately depends on your needs and experience level. So if you're just starting out with Python development and want something simple and easy to use, then the Python IDLE might be the better option. However, if you're looking for a more powerful and customizable IDE, Visual Studio Code may be the better choice. So personally, I prefer Visual Studio Code. It comes with a lot more elements. I can change my theme so I can look at my colors. I can change my theme colors. I can basically make it so it's dark visual. Um, there's none of that customization in Python uh, IDLE. So the only customization we really have in the Python IDLE uh, comes from the configure IDLE menu. And you can literally just change some of the fonts, uh, change what the highlights are. So for example, on here, so errors and things like that. Change the keys and gen the extensions. There's not really that many. Um, if we want to change the color, I don't know, we'll choose that one. Okay. Uh, theme pink, we'll just go with that. Then it will change all my text to pink. And if I click OK, but it doesn't necessarily change my coding, if that makes sense. Whereas there's a lot more flexibility with Python uh, in the VS Code in terms of the theme and the way it looks. But play around with both, see which one you prefer. Throughout the course, I'm going to be using VS Code. Uh, but you can definitely follow along with the ideal if that is your preference. Thank you for watching and happy coding.